Hi, I'm Damon Weaver, and this is my protege, Anthony Roy. And we're at the Super Bowl Media Day to score some good interviews with the Indianapolis Colts and the New Orleans Saints players. Bye. I'm here with Ramon Humber, and he's a linebacker for the Indianapolis Colts. What do you look forward to doing Sunday? Uh, just being able to play. Uh, it's just a great opportunity. Uh, not too many people get a chance to do this. Uh, it's just going to be a great feeling. Are you looking forward to hitting somebody hard? Oh, definitely. Uh, going to be butterflies the first play, but uh, after that, just got to calm down and look out there and hit somebody. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Uh, stay in school. Uh, and listen to your parents. Parents know best and they love you. I'm here with Donald Brown and he's a halfback for Indianapolis Colts. What is it like playing halfback for the Colts? Oh, it's a tremendous opportunity, a great experience, and uh, just being a high octane offense like this is, is something special. What is it? What was it like playing for UConn? Oh, UConn was great. Uh, really was some great people up there, great organization. Randy Etzel's doing very well, and uh, you know I think the sky's the limit for that program. What do you look forward to doing Sunday? Oh, just going out there having fun. A great opportunity. Uh, you know, could be a once in a lifetime opportunity. So just make the most of it and uh, just go out there and have fun. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? You know, just just keep working hard. Never give up, and uh, you know education is one of the most important things, and nobody can take it away from you. So, I'm here with Adam Vinatieri, and he's a kicker for the Illinois. I mean, Indianapolis. Indianapolis Colts. Colts. Right. What is it like kicking the ball? I love it. It's it's so much fun. It's something that I really really enjoy going out and doing, and and uh, it's kind of like hitting a golf ball. If you hit it well, you don't even feel it leave your foot, but it, you, when you look up and you see it going where you where it's supposed to go, it's a great great feeling. Do you think? Kickers should be getting the most money because it's called football. <laughs> I, I like your thought. You know what? You need to be an agent and you need to convince all the owners that. Um, unfortunately, we're only on the field for about a minute of the whole game. And that's not even probably. Our, our, our total amount of playing is probably 30 seconds. So um, for, for the actual time we're out there, we're doing pretty good. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Um, you know what? Yeah, absolutely. School's the most important thing in your life because for all of us, we're blessed to be in this game. But for most people, it, most people never get to play in a professional sport. So we all have uh, degrees and stuff to fall back on. So make sure you stay in school, study hard, because uh, you always need your education. How do how do you think it will go if the game comes down to you? <laughs> well, you know, we dream about that all the time, and we prepare ourselves just to make sure uh, if it does come down to us, we're prepared and ready to go. I've been lucky enough to have it come down to me a couple of times uh, in this in this game, and there's no greater feeling to, to kick that one at the end and, and be able to get the old fist pump and, and know that you've won it all. Thanks. All right, buddy. I would join the time is. How, how did you get so big? <laughs> My mom feeding me the right foods, good genes, and uh, it helps to have a six foot five dad. <laughs> How does it feel playing in the Super Bowl? Uh, it's fun, man. You know, we're getting down here trying to enjoy ourselves a little bit, and we'll get focused and, and get ready for the game on Sunday, and hopefully we'll be able to come out with a victory. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Sure. Um, especially for you guys who are trying to play sports. My, I would say to focus on your grades first. You know, without your grades and in high school and college, you're not going to be able to make it to the pros because you won't be eligible to play. So, you know, stay focused, take care of those grades, and first things first. I'm here with Pierre Garcon, and he's a wide receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. What is it like playing wide receiver? Oh, man, it's tough, man, to play wide receiver. It, 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 it's hard. You got to run fast, play fast, you got to think fast, you got to do everything at a, at a quick of a second. I know you're from Palm Beach. How does it feel to be back close to your home? Oh, it feels good, man. You know, a lot of people in Palm Beach are going to be watching, going to be rooting on for me. And, you know, it, it, it's a great feeling to, to be to be in Palm Beach or so close to home to play in the Super Bowl, the biggest game in the, uh, the, biggest game in the NFL. Could you give some advice to the students at my school? Um, what school do you go to? Canal Point Elementary. Canal Point Elementary. Is that out there by Pahokee? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I know Canal Point real well. Um, for the people at Canal Point, you know, anything is possible, you know, work hard, hard work always pays off, no matter if it's not sooner but later, but later, eventually it will work out for you. Thanks. No problem, man. Thank you, man. Here's my business card. All right, let me see that. I'm going to give you a oh, call. Oh, wrong one. Oh, oh you got a couple of them. There it is. 
All right. You do the good work, man. Thanks. Right now, I'm trying to get Peyton Manning interview. Excuse me, Mr. Manning. Excuse us, please. Sure, let me pass, please. Let me pass. Excuse me, Mr. Manny. Let me pass. Come on through. Coming through. Coming through. Excuse me, Mr. Manny. Come on. Come on, we don't trip over the court. All right, all right, all right. Excuse me, Mr. Manny. It's easy to stay humble. You know you got a lot of help. Excuse me. Can I ask you a quick question? You got to keep it on the run, man. I got to. Hey, hold on for one second. Let me say. Thanks, you have. Hello, you have. Hello, Mexico. Los protagonistas. <laughs> Cannot say that. Okay, thank you very much. Well, I almost got him, but this experience was crazy. I was getting pushed around a lot, and I was feeling kind of crazy because everyone was around him. I'm here with Steve, and he's now a broadcaster for NFL Network. What do you like better, being a head coach or broadcaster? Well, I'll tell you what, I love them both, Damien, because they're two different jobs, all right? Coaching um, is very challenging. It's an honor to be a coach in the National Football League or in college or in high school, at any level. It's an honor to be a coach, and I loved it. My father was a coach, and my son is a coach, and I love that part of it. But now I've sort of changed my profession a little bit, and I'm holding a microphone just like you. How do you like it? I like it very I much. I can tell you like it. You're doing a good job with it, too. What do you think about the 49ers now? Well, I think the 49ers with Mike Singletary are making some real good progress, Damon. I think, um, you know, Michael Crabtree showed up a little late. He will be much better next year. Vernon Davis had a heck of a season. Alex Smith is really coming on. And I think that the fact that they're going to keep the offense and defensive systems in place for another year is beneficial. So they don't keep changing their terminology. But I think the 49ers are going to win that division next year. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Yes. You know, and what grade are you in, Damon? Sixth. Sixth grade. You know, I, I, I have four kids of my own, all right? And some of the advice that I would give them is to whatever it is, whether it's in school, whether it's uh, you, got a, you got a little job, you got a paper out, uh, you do the very best you can, whether it's sports, whatever. You do the best you can. And then don't be afraid to ask for advice from mom or dad or grandma or teacher or your coach don't be afraid to ask for advice because that's part of growing up you learn faster by by uh, having somebody tell you how to do things because they've been your age before and you haven't been theirs i'm here with rich eisen and he's a sportscaster how do you like being a sportscaster i love being a sportscaster i, I love being able to talk about sports all the time i love to be able to uh, meet athletes and get to know them as people, not just like the guys that hit the ball or throw it or tackle those who are carrying it. So uh, that's part of the things I love about it. What can you tell me about growing up with Coach Z? What can I tell you about growing up what? With Coach Z. With Coach who? Z. Oh, that's your Coach Z. I didn't know that. Z, yeah. Well, he was at my bar mitzvah and I was at his bar mitzvah. And uh, we, we grew up together in grade school, so we had a good time together. I hadn't seen him in about 25 years, so it was neat to see him again. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Of course. Just make sure that whenever you uh, are in school, just make sure you work as hard as you can to get the good grades and get a great education, because you're going to have to fall back on it so many times in your life every day, and that when you do get out uh, into the real world, as I like to call it, outside of school, just make sure that you stay true to yourself and never let anybody tell you that you can't do what you want to do. And you're already halfway there, my friend. Thanks. I'm here with Marshall Falk, and he's a halfback. He was a, he's a former halfback for the Rams. What was it like playing halfback for the Rams? Uh, it was tough. It was tough, but, uh, but a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy carrying the football. Uh, when I was a kid, I played a lot of different positions, but I always felt like playing running back was was, was what I like the most, and um, it, it, it's always very interesting when you get that get that football and everybody's sort of chasing you. Can you tell me about your childhood? Uh, my childhood was uh, was pretty rough. I grew up in a rough neighborhood uh, where we basically used sports to escape all the crazy, chaotic things that went on. Uh, born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, um, I have five older brothers and. Uh, and, and, and through all their experiences, I learned what to, what to and not to do. 
and uh, was able to uh, attend college and play, play ball and get an education and move on and play in the NFL. Did you go to Marshall College? No, no, I went to San Diego State University. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Uh, the advice that I would give to the students at school would be to, um, to study hard, uh, to get an education, because regardless of what you do in life, everything can be taken away from you except your education.